Hey guys, it's Justine, and today I'm really excited because this video is going to be really fun. I have been wearing this for the past four, five months. This is the Aura Ring. So a huge thank you to Aura Ring for sponsoring this video and partnering with me on this. I wanted to make sure that this was something that I absolutely loved before even talking about or sharing any of my thoughts with you guys. And honestly, it has been so incredible and I'm so upset with myself that I did not get one sooner because I could have had years and years of sleep data at my fingertips. But instead, I now have a little over four months of data. And what's great though, is this could not have come at a more perfect time because this is the new Gen 3 Aura Ring. Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, well, here's the thing. This isn't just a ring. It's actually a pretty high-tech sleep tracking device with 24-7 heart rate monitoring, period prediction, possible illness detection, activity tracking, blood oxygen sensing, with seven precise research-grade temperature sensors, all inside this tiny little ring that connects to an app that will give you very specific data about your rest, recovery, and how to improve your sleep quality over time. If I could give you a pill, and this pill would improve your memory and your skin quality, it would help you live longer, assist with muscle repair, fight off illness, and decrease blood pressure. Would you take it? Um, yeah, I would, but here's the good and bad news. There is no magic pill, but what there is, is sleep. And most of us don't get enough of it. And what many people don't realize is just how important sleep is. Now, of course, we've all heard that you should make sure that you're getting eight hours of rest a night, but what does that actually mean? And how do I make sure that I'm getting enough sleep? Am I getting the right kind of sleep? What if I can't fall asleep? Oh, hold on a second. I did sleep for eight hours, but I woke up even more exhausted. These are all questions that I've had, and I know that many of you guys may have also had them as well. So for the past few months, I have been wearing this ring every single day. This is the Aura Ring, and it has honestly changed my relationship with sleep. Now, you don't need this ring to start making changes that can help improve your sleep, but what this ring has done for me has actually made me see the data of each night that I've slept. My total time of sleep, my sleep efficiency, my restfulness, how long I was in each sleep stage, and even what my skin temperature was. It also will then give me daily suggestions of actionable items of things that I can do to improve my sleep. This is the new new Gen 3 Aura Ring, which has a lot of huge improvements over the previous one. It has seven new temperature sensors, which are constantly monitoring your body for even the smallest change in skin temperature. This will let you detect early signs of illness, also period prediction, and it'll assist with determining your quality of sleep. It also now has 24 seven heart rate and blood oxygen monitoring to give you a complete look at how your body is responding to sleep, stress, and recovery. All of this allows for the app to notice these subtle changes and alert you that there might be a chance that you're getting sick and to take it easy. Some users have actually written in and shared their stories that they spotted their COVID-19 symptoms with Aura first. Now, it's not gonna pop up and say, hey, you have COVID, oh, uh, Justine, you've got the flu, but being able to detect those subtle changes in your skin temperature can alert you to take some action. Like, okay, maybe I should go get a COVID test or try to plan in a little extra rest this week just in case you're coming down with something. The Aura Ring team has also been working with researchers at USCF to see how the ring signals can be used for COVID-19 tools. Most people don't even know what their baseline normal is, and this takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. This is a sleep tracking ring, but I feel like it's become so much more. So over the past few years, I have pushed myself in training. Most times I think I've ended up overtraining because I thought that's what I needed to do to get better. It wasn't until a few injuries later that I actually started prioritizing rest. I had to heal so that I can continue to perform not only in all of my activities, but just in daily life. Even though this was unfortunately something that I kind of had to figure out on my own by trial and error, injury, physical exhaustion, and even making myself so sick to the point that I had to take days off because because I was so exhausted. But now I'm so much more aware of my recovery with the Aura readiness score that this has been so incredibly accurate to how I've been feeling and it lets me plan out when my best days are to fully focus on being more active or when it's just time to take it easy. Now these past few months for me, I haven't been able to do as much fitness as I'd like due to a ton of work. It is tech season and with travel and then I had a knee injury. So being able to take advantage of the days that I'm fully rested and recovered to focus on being more active those are the days that I try to make fitness a priority. <laughs> 
So this also has automatic activity detection, which is actually pretty accurate. Now it might not always be able to tell exactly what activity you're doing, but it will pop up with this little detection notice and you can go in and choose exactly what that activity is. This ring works so well with other fitness devices like the Apple Watch or Fitbit. Anything that allows you to pull in the health kit data, you can automatically have that be imported into the Aura Ring app. And with this Gen 3 version, I feel like this actually could be a standalone ring to track your fitness. But I really still do love having the added benefits of the Apple Watch when I'm tracking my runs or my strength training and also just being able to listen to music on the go and having my messages automatically right here on my wrist. I love all of that. But it's great because all of that data is nicely imported right here for you into the Aura Ring app. Now charging this ring is super simple. It comes with this little charging dock that you just drop it onto, but the battery life on this lasts about a week and it does charge super quick. I just toss it on the charger anytime I feel like I need a little ring break or a few times a week when I get in the shower. So if you guys are interested in checking these rings out, I do have an AuraRing.com slash iJustine page where you can go and check that out to get all of the information about this ring and you can also buy one. What's kind of cool is when you do order one of these, they send you a sizing kit that looks just like this. It'll give you instructions to give you a proper fit. You can choose the ring color and your size selection on their website. They've got gold, black, matte black, and silver colors. I'm a huge fan of gold jewelry and that's pretty much all I ever wear. So obviously I picked the gold ring. One of the new things in the Gen 3 ring is period prediction. Women's health is so often overlooked and it drives me crazy because this is such an amazing tool, not only for tracking periods, it can also be useful if you wanna develop a better understanding of your menstrual cycle. Those subtle changes in your body when you stray from your normal means that something's up, whether it's good, whether it's bad. It's honestly so fascinating reading stories of how this ring has helped so many people in so many various aspects of their life. There are times that I'm unfortunately unable to wear this and it makes me so sad. Like when I'm doing jujitsu, for example, I will wear it for warm up or when we're doing some drills and then I'll take it off when I'm actually rolling so I don't accidentally hurt my partner. But what's great is I am able to go in after class and tag that I was doing martial arts and it'll add it into my activity for the day. I did put in a very subtle, maybe not so subtle request to the Aura Ring CEO, Harpreet Rai, to add a jujitsu tag. Please. And from the whole uh, jujitsu community. Now that I think about it, we have a partnership with the UFC. Actually, now that you think about it, I think they'd be super happy if we did that. So thanks for calling it out for the community. Fingers crossed for that new activity. Speaking of which, my sister and I got a chance to chat with Harpreet all about Aura Ring, his journey leading the company into Gen 3. And he even gave us some sleep tips that can help all of us start forming better habits when it comes to sleep. I have been such a horrible sleeper for probably the past 10 years. But now with the ring, I'm like actually starting to analyze and like understand and I'm like, oh, okay. Like like maybe there is something like I need to have like a lifestyle change. It's interesting, right? We sort of take sleep for granted. All of our heads sort of hit the pillow and we sort of just pass out. We, we're actually unconscious, right? We don't remember it. We take it for granted and some of us just think, oh no, we're a poor sleeper. But but once you start to see some of that data and you're like, wait, no, I was up till 2 a.m. watching Netflix and the nights that I go to bed at seven or eight, or sorry, eat dinner at seven or eight, go to bed at 10 or 11, hey, I actually feel way better. My data is higher and able to then register and quantify it. This was better for me. This is a better behavior. I wanna feel better. I wanna be more productive. I wanna be on top of my interviews the next day, whatever it may be. You can check out the full podcast on youtube.com slash same brain, or you can look up same brain anywhere that you listen to podcasts. This ring is so small and light that I hardly even notice that it's on during the day or while I'm sleeping. Now I know the Apple Watch does have sleep tracking, but I just really don't like wearing something around my wrist when I go to bed. The Aura Ring's main focus is sleep. So it is tracking your heart rate, HRV, your body temperature and movements all throughout the night to give you an estimate of just how you slept. Every morning I sync my ring and I can get all of these in-depth metrics of how my sleep was. You can see on this particular night, I was awake for 45 minutes in REM for one hour, 42 minutes, light sleep for four hours, 10 minutes, and deep sleep for one hour, 18 minutes. There is a movement detection right here at the bottom. So around 2.30 AM, this is where my dog woke me up and wanted out of the bedroom. So what did I do? I woke up, let him out, and fell back asleep. So we have all of this information but what can we do with it? How can we improve? Now this is what I love so much because you can click into things like my recovery index here. It is giving me an alert to pay attention. This recovery index measures how long it takes for your resting heart rate to stabilize during the night. It gives you a suggestion that alcohol, a heavy meal before bed can all have some negative effects on your sleep and recovery. And uh, you guess what? Yeah. 
I ate a pretty large meal last night before bed and I knew like as I was eating this that it was gonna play a factor in my sleep quality. Once you start learning and figure out how these small things can affect your sleep, you're able to adjust and make the changes. With bedtime suggestions, you'll be able to optimize the amount of sleep that you'll need for a full night recovery the next day. I have also used this as an excuse as to why I can't go out. It's like, uh, hi, sorry, my ring just told me that I need to go to sleep so I won't be able to make it to that event. Like I can freaking send my friends a screenshot, like look, see, proof, I gotta go to bed. Bye. You'll also get some notifications of when it's time to wind down so you can start preparing yourself for bed. And a lot of these times I will be in the middle of working or about to have dinner and this notification pops up. I'm like, oh shoot, it's almost time to go to sleep. Um, hi, so I'm in the middle of something. If like maybe you can just give me a few more minutes. So it's times like that where I need to just kind of let go and realize, okay, tonight might not be my best night of sleep, but I can try to plan for the rest of the week to try to squeeze in some makeup sleeps. It does feel like it sometimes becomes like this Rubik's Cube type puzzle of how am I gonna make up for the sleep that I failed to get last night. So after you've gathered a few months of data, the trend tab starts to get very interesting to look at. And I wish that I would have had one of these rings for years because that's so much sleep data that I could have had. But you can see here that I started wearing this in August and you can see that my sleep score was very, very low. Now me and my sister were out working on a project that required some crazy wake up times and very late nights. But being able to see this improvement month after month is actually really cool. My sister and I were in Hawaii and I was so nervous because we were hiking and doing a a ton of outside activities that I was so worried that like my brand new ring would get scratched. And I'm very happy to report that it stayed in really great condition, even after some extensive lightsaber battles and climbing up mountains. I do have the luxury of working from home and there are times that I am able to squeeze in a nap during the day if I'm feeling really exhausted. This has automatic nap detection. It's really cool because after I wake up from my nap, it'll be able to detect it. It'll add it onto your sleep and your readiness score. And it honestly kind of feels like a real life video game. I'm trying to hack my day to improve my energy levels. We only get one life, so we need to make the best of it. And I just wish that I had started focusing more on my sleep and healthy living way earlier in life. I am so happy that now this has become a huge focus for me. Just because I'm wearing this ring though, this isn't going to magically make me be able to sleep better. We have to listen to our bodies and actually take these suggestions and then make the changes. But what's great though, is when you actually find something and you make that change for the better, you'll actually be able to see the proof, not only in the data, but how you're starting to feel. This goes back to my original question in the beginning of this video, which I actually saw Harpreet ask during an interview once. If there was a pill that you could take to help you solve all of these issues with your body, would you? And the answer is such a simple one. Like we don't need a pill. We just need more sleep. Now I thankfully don't have issues falling asleep, but for me, it's making the time to do so or the bad choices that lead up to going to bed. Like I'm on my phone, I'm eating a huge meal before bed or I'm working out like an hour before it's time to go to sleep. But for others, it's you can't shut your mind off or you wake up multiple times during the night and you're unable to fall back asleep or you have kids, a pet or a partner that moves around too much. There are so many factors that lead into the why we don't get enough sleep. So what are some things that we can do? There are so many sleep resources online, so I would suggest doing some research and starting small, trying to make some small changes here and there and see what works for you. Most importantly, Try to eat or drink alcohol at least three hours before bed. Eating large meals right before you fall asleep can result in your heart rate spiking throughout the night and this won't allow you to fully rest. So I stopped drinking a few years ago, but as for alcohol, it can actually interrupt your sleep cycle in the middle of the night because it'll begin to metabolize in your body. Now on a typical night, you'll go through about four to six sleep cycles and not all are the same length. Aura's sleep interface makes it really simple to track these cycles. It uses awake, REM, light, and deep sleep to give you this visual representation of your night. Waking up in the middle of a cycle can also be really detrimental to your day. If your body is naturally waking up before your alarm, just get up and get moving. Because trying to squeeze in those extra few minutes might actually have a reverse effect. So it's no secret that I am a caffeine queen. I love coffee, I love yerba mate. About a year and a half ago, I started limiting myself to one coffee and one yerba mate, and it has to be before one or 2 p.m. So try to limit your caffeine and your naps to earlier in the day. Start setting 
setting an actual bedtime and sticking to that schedule as much as possible. I love using the iPhone bedtime to calculate how much sleep I'll be able to get and adjust accordingly if I can. I found about seven hours or so actually works best for me, but I do like to set it for about seven and a half or eight since I usually do wake up before my actual alarm. This has taken me some time to kind of train my body to be on this schedule. I like to wake up around 5.30 or 6 every day. So for you guys, just start making small changes in your routine and see what works. There are some sleep sounds and meditations built into the Aura app with more content that'll be coming out later. Meditation might not be for everyone, but if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. Another huge factor is your sleeping environment. I just recently got blackout curtains and it is the best thing ever. You might wanna try lighter bedding if you find yourself overheating during the night, making small temperature adjustments, adding some calming white noise. Maybe it's loud outside so you could try some earplugs. There's so many incredible online sleep resources to get you guys started on your sleep journey to better sleep and to better health. Now, Aura Ring has honestly helped me so much and I've already learned so much about my body that I never even knew. And I am honestly so sad to admit this, that until four months ago, I never knew that before your period, your body temperature significantly decreases. Like what? I'm, I'm how? How old am I now? Like, how did I kind of not know that? I love being active and having low energy is something that I've always struggled with. So pairing this ring with better food choices, with more consistent workouts, and trying to follow an actual sleep schedule has been so life-changing. So I hope that if you guys take away anything from this video is how important it is to prioritize your health over anything else. Because if you guys can't be at your best for you, how will you be the best for anyone else? Your work, your family, your friends? I think we've all felt that feeling of complete burnout and just absolute exhaustion and sometimes it's unavoidable due to travel or work or family or whatever it is what we do to recover and move forward from that can make all of the difference thank you guys for watching this was really a special video for me to make because I've been doing a ton of sleep research recently and I'm really excited to share those with you if you guys would like to get more information or purchase one of your own you guys can check out auraring.com slash I Justine and if you already have one feel free to screenshot me those sleep scores. I would love to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.